Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a tattoo. Let's start. Here in the media pool we have two files, the video clip and the tattoo. The tattoo is a normal image. Now I added the video clip to the timeline and make sure that we are at the beginning of the video clip. Now I switch to Fusion. We see the media in node and the media out node. What we want to do is to add the tattoo to the arm of this person. To do that we need a planner tracker. I select the media in node and add the planner tracker. Now you can see the note. Now I make sure that we are at the beginning of the clip and select the planner tracker. Now I'm changing the motion type from perspective to translation rotation. And I click on set. Now I'm drawing a rectangle. This is the part we want to track. I adjust the size a little bit. Now I press the button track to end. Now I play the clip and look at the result. Well done. Now I make sure that we are at the beginning of the clip and change the operation mode from track to corner pin. Next I add the tattoo. We have a new media in node and I connect the output Next I select the planner tracker node and go to corner pin and change the apply mode from normal to color burn. Now I adjust the size. Now I decrease the gain property. Now let's see the result. Here we have the problem that the tattoo um, overlaps the dumbbell. And we will fix that by creating a mask. Now I disconnect the media in node from the planner tracker and select the media in node and add a mat control node. To draw a mask we need a polygon and we have to connect the polygon node with the mat control. We select the output from the polygon node and connect it with the garbage mate input. Now we select the mat control node and activate the jewel viewer. On the left side we see the tattoo And now we draw a rectangle. We select the mat control again and go to the garbage mate and invert it. Now I select the planner tracker and press 2 to see it on the right side. And now I connect the mate control output Choose the input of the corner pin. Next I go to the frame where the tattoo overlaps the dumbbell. I select the polygon node and we adjust the size until we don't see the overlapping. 
here I zoom in into the right viewer so we can better see the result. Now I adjust the size of the polygon so that we don't see the overlapping anymore. Now I go to the next frame and adjust the polygon size again. Next I decrease the soft edge property. Now let's see the first result. Here we have to do some adjustments. Now let's see the result again. It looks good. Now switch back to the edit workspace. That's it. I hope you enjoy my tutorial and we we'll see us in my next video again. Bye bye.